Hello, this is Dr. Lorenz at Longevity Health Institute. Let me uh, educate you on peptides here. Uh, you probably heard me speak of peptides in the past or a few of our common peptides that we use for regenerative healing and all of their benefits. But right behind me, I have some examples of uh, some vials and things that we use to help people get well and regenerate and heal and do some wonderful stuff at a functional level because that's where we're experts at here. So, uh, you know, me and my practitioners here constantly, constantly are using peptides uh, because they're so, so, so wonderful when done appropriately in an edu educated and smooth fashion, especially when I wanna share with you and put a lot of time into here because of how important your gut health is. And of course, you hear me talk about this before, you've heard me, heard me talk about this for a long time, um, you know, maybe in a few years or some past videos, at least a few times, and this is the thing is your microbiome, your gut flora, okay, is now in studies linked to so many things like diabetes, like autoimmune disease, like inflammation, um, you know, like how you detoxify and your buildup of your burden of, of toxins and heavy metals to cognition to so many things, the gut brain connection. And I'm going to share with you something about when, yeah, you've eaten right you've gone gluten-free, you've worked on leaky gut, and but what else is missing? What's that piece that can really, really solidify your digestive healing? And I thought of this because today I actually had a new patient that was uh, fairly young um, and healthy in many other ways, but her story is really, really common because it's almost those mistakes or little, little um, uh, over observations that happen in medicine very commonly that then lead to, okay, if you will, lead to another bigger problem, okay? So the peptide I'm gonna be focusing on a lot today and, and speaking of is BPC-157. So th this peptide, um, this is just the vial that we use of it, is a wonderful peptide that helps digestive lining healing. There's even studies on it for ulcers and regenerative healing of the epithelium. Now, technically, this peptide stands for Body Protective Complex 157. It's an amino acid chain. Uh, amino acid chains make peptides. This particular one uh, does a lot of anti-inflammatory and regenerative ability, and we use this often with gut healing. So all our colitis, ulcerative colitis, um, Crohn's, um, acid reflux, um, you know, heartburn, IBS, uh, silent reflux, uh, you name it, if it's significant enough or severe enough, we will use BPC-157 because it's almost a guarantee. It's 99%. I always call it our home run. Now, do we use it all the time? Not necessarily because sometimes it's not needed. But remember in gut healing, gut restoration, the diet's got to be there. The things to repair the lining have to be there. You have to treat the overgrowth of bad bacteria and yeast, and you have to use good probiotics. Um, and I can tell you some things here at the end of the end of the video, um, and give you a little lead into uh, just uh, listen to the last part of the video here to where you can get this stuff. Um, but your your ability, if you will, to heal is very, very based on these regenerative properties. So long story short is this, this patient, okay, had chronic pelvic pain, and I suspect she has underlying endometriosis that has not been detected. She's about 30 years old, and she has taken NSAIDs, so Motrin's and anti-inflammatory over-the-counter medicines, Advil's, etc., because of her chronic pelvic pain, especially when she's on her cycle. And she has done this for a number of years, you know, five to even 10 years. Sometimes she told me and admitted to taking up to 20 Motrin a day. Now, this can be very dangerous on the kidneys, but also it is very, very, very dangerous and can lead to even ulcers because it damages the epithelium of the gut and all your cells, whether it's in your stomach, your small bowel or colon, and you can get a inflammatory reaction, you can get deterioration in the gut lining, you can get overgrowth of bad bacteria and also yeast and obviously the very common leaky gut, okay? Now she's gone gluten-free, which is a great first step. I encourage her to be dairy-free and we're gonna do some food sensitivity testing, okay? But what's really key is this. She's done her own research and she's taken probiotics and done a few things. And these have helped, 
slightly though, just very slightly. In a case where she showed, showed on a endoscope and on a colonoscopy that she had colitis and she actually had a lot of quote unquote inflammation, no ulcers, um, no over obvious other issue, but she showed this itises, you know, gastritis is inflamed and colitis, okay? Well, she's gonna need, because it's so long standing, this, um, you know, BPC 157. This peptide will help her in our protocols in literally closing the gaps in her epithelium. So, regenerating peptide bonds between the epithelium in your gut so that at, at a microscopic level, that there is some border repair, okay? When there's border repair, now you don't have bloating, you don't have yeast overgrowth, you don't have bacterial overgrowth, you don't have inflammation and all that, and that can then be permanent. Now, sometimes you only have to use a peptide like BPC-157 for sometimes as short as, you know, two months. Usually I tell people it's gonna be about two to four months. We follow their blood tests here and we look at their live blood on the microscope, which on other videos I share with you, but she will be a home run. She will be functionally healed, there's no question. Her X factor will be, and we're investigating this, what is going on with her chronic pelvic pain and what is um, essentially causing potentially this issue where she has to take so much Motrin. I know we'll be able to help her with that, but does she have endometriosis? Does she have polycystic ovarian syndrome? What is going on there? But we'll dive deep into solving that and this will give us our best result for her in someone that's been suffering for years and potentially caused her own problem. So again, peptides are amino acid chains. Um, they're smaller than proteins. Um, they need to be done in the right way, either injectable very simply or sublingually. Um, digestive gastric acids usually break them down. They're not as effective. So talk to us or talk to your practitioner about that. Um, but again, peptides are wonderful things. They're helping people here lose weight. They're helping people here um, reverse and improve autoimmune disease. They're helping people heal long-standing years of gut issues and that, and inflammation and pain and chronic conditions. And so I'd love to use peptides here as, again, there's too many to cover right here. I'll do with some other videos, but you can see of all of these that we use here. These are just samples and, and uh, more informative for patients but we use these um, very, very, very uh, commonly and effectively. Now, what is another part of our healing process? Well, as you've heard me talk about before, you can go to our supplement warehouse on our website. Our password to set up an account there is health, and you can order some of the things I mentioned here on the website um, or on this YouTube video. Please follow us, share this, um, tell us comments, uh, likes, etc and we will respond to you um, in as fast as we can in a timely manner. Um, but you know, our CareWell Fulfillment Company shipping site does have the best of our probiotics I always mention on our videos, glutamine, immunoglobulin, um, gastric healers like zinc carnosate and gastromend, and, and um, we, you do have to be seen and be evaluated if you need a peptide like BPC-157, but we're happy to get that for you when needed and appropriate. So focus on your gut, focus on your diet. A new study, by the way, just came out of the New England Journal of Medicine. Um, I believe it was just published two months ago about the connection of gut and your microbiome and disruption in that and diabetes. There was a link, they believe, up to 20% okay, of an incidence when people were taking meds that actually, because they had a bad digestive lining, these PPIs, these, these uh, um, acid suppressing medications, okay? Stuff that you take all the time. There's amiprazoles, um, Prilosex, Prevacids, uh, Prevacids Nexiums, etc. If you're taking an antacid, you need to see a good functional medicine personalized practice so that you get healed, period, end of story. Because when you heal your gut and you reverse that kind of disease, you're getting longevity, permanent prevention and wellness, period. Be well, this is Dr. Lorenz.